Heck yeah! You can actually start a business with zero dollars. End of video. Wait, 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 wait. There must be more to my answer, right? Hey, it's different to Colin, and this is my thoughts, season two. What's up, my friends? How much did you find surprising about the controversial answers I shared in the previous three episodes? So you now know how much influencers make. Can you make a uh, living from being a YouTuber? And how easy it is to make six figures in business? Well, in this episode, I'm going to address another rather controversial topic on entrepreneurship, specifically at the start of it, which is. Can you really start a business with zero dollars? Well, I guess you would have heard many business gurus say this before, right? A social media marketing agency, zero dollars to start. An e-commerce business, no capital, no problem. A network marketing business, start it with absolutely zero dollars upfront. Seriously, can that be done? Can we really start these businesses and dozens more? With zero dollars of upfront capital. Now, having done all three of them, I mean the social media agency, the the e-commerce business, and the MLM stints, right? I can assure you that the gurus are actually right. They didn't lie. My wife and I went into all these、uh, businesses with not a single dollar down. But I say businesses. In inverted commas, because on hindsight they are not really businesses. Why do I say that? Now, to start with, we need to understand what is needed to start a business. Now, in my opinion, aside from intangible things like、uh, connections, opportunities, and even you know like、uh, market demands, optimally we should have these three resources to start a business, a proper one. I call them the triangle of resources, and the three resources are time, energy, and money. Now, starting a business is very much like giving birth to a child. With the baby entirely depending on you, you need to put in time, energy, and money to see her grow. So, in starting a business, it's the same three things that you need. So, if you are starting a business without the component of money in the triangle of resources, you need to severely compensate with time and energy. For example, with the social media marketing agency, you can technically start it with zero dollars, but that will mean that you need to put in a lot more time and energy into creating the social media pages, the website, the solutions, your offerings, your branding, marketing, and even. Second-level things like bookkeeping and filing of、uh, taxes yourself, and conversely, if you don't have the time for it and don't want to put in any energy in doing all these yourself, right? Then just pay a lot of money for someone else to do everything for you. In many ways, startups with funded capitals are working on this model. They pump a lot of investor or borrowed money into getting all the manpower. Equipment, apps, marketing, and just about everything else、uh, done for them, so that、uh, they can launch the business once everything is in. So for me and my business, Learns Marketing, it started out without much capital, only a thousand dollars to incorporate the company, and my wife and I did everything ourselves at that time. I I mean literally everything. Only after around a year of working ourselves to death did we engage someone to build a website for us. And believe it or not, it cost us around twenty thousand dollars. No joke. And suddenly, since the launch of that website, right, business started picking up a lot faster. Now, my point is this: if you choose to start a business、uh, that's with the inverted commas with zero dollars, then expect to do everything yourself. And when you are putting in so much time and so much energy into getting your business started, trust me, it's not really a business to begin with. You are probably a solopreneur or freelancer in this case, exchanging your time and energy for money. Nothing wrong with that. I mean, just 
just that I feel we need to be explicit in knowing what role we are playing because technically as an uh, entrepreneur your job is to create jobs and pay someone else to do them you're not supposed to be in the business the time and energy that you put in after all the money is to be on and grow the business instead and my friends at this point I must admit that I'm doing pretty lousy job at being an entrepreneur because with 12 other people working under my company's payroll I find myself constantly busy with doing a lot of their work I can easily blame it on them but I mean honestly I have to take responsibility for not recognizing that the fact that I'm no longer working in a business created with zero dollars anymore that they are capable of doing their jobs after proper training and that I have to let go and you know what this poor entrepreneurial mindset probably stemmed from the idea of zero dollar business from those business gurus that uh, I learned from and what they have inbuilt in me so my friends if you have watched until this point the true message that I want to give to you in this video it's not that we can or cannot start a business with zero dollars if, if that's the case we would have ended the video right at the start isn't it with a zero dollar down business you need to be aware that you're not actually running one and conversely if you put in six figures of funds yearly into a business like I do you shouldn't run it like a zero dollar business anymore and on this bombshell let me end this video by thanking you to watch till this point and if you find what I shared to be logical do support me by giving this video a like be sure to also subscribe and turn on notifications too so that you don't miss the other episodes in this series such as how many businesses actually succeed how can you be an author in one day and how difficult is it to make one million dollars remember I'm different calling why be different when you can be different. End of video for real this time.